happy thursday um today is december 31st y'all it is officially the very last day of 2020 and i honestly don't know how i feel about it i feel like so much has happened to me this year so much not even just to me but to so many people to so many families like no, let me close my closet. But I feel like so much has happened this year that I honestly don't know how to feel. Um, I'm kind of feeling emotional today. I don't know. I just feel like... Let me turn this on. Yeah, so I'm just feeling really emotional this morning. And I don't know. I just feel like I'm leaving so much behind this year. And there's some things that I just never really got down to the bottom of or figured out or got an answer for but the year is over now it's done we're leaving it it's nothing else i could do but yeah it's about to be a brand new year and i honestly just don't know how i feel about it um i'm excited for the new year just because this year itself sorry y'all excited for the new year because this year itself has just been a freaking roller coaster. It's been up and down. I'm honestly ready to have a reason to want more things and to just basically like have a clean slate. I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of person like when it's a new year, I do feel like new year, new me. Okay. I don't care. People always pick up people for saying it, but new year, new me. And it needs to happen. Like I need a new freaking me because this year me has just been a total wreck i've been all over the place i've had so much different things um happen so many different things come in and out of my life um, i'm grateful to still be alive and to still be healthy and well and to have my family and my friends um but yeah this year has been pretty pretty tough um obviously you guys know that i was supposed to be getting married this year um the guy woke me up and was like girl this ain't the year so that happened um a lot of really great things has happened in my life as well so i'm not just gonna sit here and harp on the bad but it's like i don't know like i'm just i'm just so emotional this morning and i don't know I don't know how I feel. I'm just all over the place. Um, I also miss my mom. I will say that every time there's a new year, or like something big about to happen, I always get really emotional because I do feel like um, these are just things that are happening that she can't experience with me and my brother and that she can't see. So that really, 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 really breaks my heart. Um, and it does make me really, really emotional. I think that has a really big part on it. Um, also, I did want, feel like I would have been married. So, things like that I wouldn't have to deal with alone. But I'm not getting married. So, I'm kind of alone dealing with these things. But, I don't know. Um, not only that. So, I do have something really, really great um, happening today. I'm not even going to try not to cry. Um, but, I do I, I do need to cry. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to end up getting it out. But, um, but yeah, so right now it is about 12.30. At 1 o'clock, actually, I do have um, an apartment tour set up. And I'm really excited. I I don't think I'm going to actually be moving into this place or if I'm going to be moving anytime soon. I really don't know. Y'all, this is my very first time getting my own apartment and really just like doing everything by myself. Because I used to do everything in my relationship. So we kind of did everything together. And he was a man. So I let him lead on a lot of things like this. So it's like now it's time for me to actually do it. And I'm super scared. I'm super nervous. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm just going to allow God to um, lead me. And to really just give me the green light, the red light, the yellow light. Whatever I need to do, I'm going to talk to him about it first. But I do feel like um, I do want to get my own space eventually. So today is just me doing my very first apartment tour. I am guess, guess you could say I'm hunting. Not really because it's not like I just, you know, I hate the way this looks here. But it's not like I'm just, you know, looking to move 
next week but i am just you know doing my due diligence seeing what is expected of me um when i am getting an apartment what's required how things look and there's one that is really really near um where i'm staying at now with my best friend and that was another thing if i did move i do want to be close um either to her or, like to my family i still want to be around in this area um and i really really like where we stay now so I was like, let me find somewhere that's in this area, and it's a place that's about 10 minutes from me. I got to work today at 2 o'clock. Y'all, I can't even believe that my job really thinks that I'm going to work from 2 to 12 a.m. and bring in the new year with them. Um, because I'm not going to do that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, and I don't know what they're going to do. But we're going to have to figure this out because I'm not bringing a new year in at my job because... No, I want to bring it in with my friends. Um, I want to bring it in with my family, and I don't know. I just I don't I don't want to bring it in with them. So I gotta figure something out. But yeah, y'all. So um, it's twelve thirty. I told you the place is only ten minutes away. So I'm not, what I'm gonna do is since it's at one, I'm gonna go ahead and who's texting me? I'm gonna go ahead and get um get actually get ready for work as I was going to work. And then go straight there because it might take like 30 minutes or so to look around the apartments and I have to actually still drive to work. So I'm giving myself like an hour of just time to look at the apartments and then I um, have to go back to work at 2 o'clock. So yeah, it's 12.30 right now. I'm about to go ahead and get ready because I got to clean up and it's probably going to take me like 20 minutes. And I need to be there at 1 o'clock. So... Yeah, let me go ahead and clean up and put some clothes on. And I'm going to see y'all in a shaking. Alright, y'all. So, I just got in my car. Um, I'm about to head over to the apartments now. Um, let me put them in. It's 12.58 and I'm supposed to be there at 1. And the apartments are 8 minutes away from me. So, I'm about to go over here and... Um, just see them. Get some price quotes. Because I really do need to see them. Because y'all know um, online they look one way. And then when you get there, it's like the ghetto. So, y'all please ignore my nails. That's what's ghetto. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, I really just want to go and see them. I They should be nice since they're so close to over here. And really, like, all the most of the apartments over here are pretty nice. So, we're going to see... It says I'm six minutes away, so I should get there at 105. Hopefully they give you like a little mile, turn left onto um, Road Southeast. Hopefully they give you like a little grace period so that you can be late. Cause if they don't, then do I know what it said? I know this ain't where I think it's at. Y'all, I know exactly where these are. I don't even know why I came out of the house. I think I know where they are. I really want to move somewhere that's still nice, but still affordable. <clears throat> I don't want to be paying a whole, whole lot a month. Um, I really don't even know what's, what's a whole, whole lot anymore. Okay, maybe they know where I think they are. Yeah. But, um, yeah. You know, I told y'all I'm kind of feeling emotional today. So, it's like I'm supposed to be happy right now. But, I'm just not. I'm just I'm just not in the best mood. I'm super grateful. Um, Stay in the second or third lane from but left. But, I just don't feel as excited as you would think that I would or should right in now. Half a mile. No, I still, I really can't believe that I'm about to get my own apartment. Like... This was not supposed to be happening. Well, you know what? I can't even say it wasn't supposed to be happening because it is happening and I got so much belief in God that I know that if it wasn't supposed to be happening, um, it wouldn't be happening, but it is. And I'm gonna try to make this light. Yeah, like, I don't know. I had posted on my story um, that just a small, short little video clip, um, 
just ask the people to pray for me today because I'm a little sad. Um, and I've been getting so many sweet and kind words. I'm going to try to read a few of them. Who have been saying the nicest things? Um, so I just, I just made a little video saying that, you know, during holidays and like New Year's and Christmas, like big events in my life, I always get a little emotional um, because y'all know that I'm like still hurt about the fact that my mom isn't here with me right now. Um, that she was taken away from me. So sometimes when it's like events like these, I almost don't want them to happen just because it's like it's happening without my mother. And I really need help. Like, I need help. I need guidance. I need advice. Um, I don't know. Like, I just need help. And I would, where I would usually get the help from my mom. Damn it, I need to get over. Where I would usually, oh shit. Where I usually would get the help from my mother. I don't have her, so. Ooh, what's my car accident right there? Yeah, so I don't have my mom, so. At times like this, I get super emotional. Um, and people have been saying, y'all, this look like a different part of the other dang on place. But yeah, people have been saying really nice things to me. Um, just basically telling me to be strong, stay strong. I really miss her and I feel like right now it's about to be a new year and I'm going into the new year without my mom with me again and I, it almost feels like I'm just getting further and further away from her. Time is going by and she's not here to see any of these things. Um, not only that, her birthday, it well, would have been in a few days and she would have only would have been like, she probably would have been, she would have been 48 this year because um, she died when she was 45. So these apartments are a fail. Um, I will come out and um, I would go and see them, but it's no dang on point because I'm not staying over here. My family wouldn't let me stay over here. I'm just not even gonna waste my time and do that. Um, I can't remember how I got in here. I think this looks about right. Yeah. Um, back to the god dang on drawing board. But what I will do is the the dang on clubhouse look better than the the clubhouse looks better than the apartments. What is that? But what I will do is run to the CPS and get me some chips or something because I've been craving chips. I was craving chips last night, but then I ended up. Oh my god, so I went out last night with one of my friends from, um, where am I here? Oh, from one of my friends from an uh, old job, and we had a really, really good time. But, let me tell y'all how the hell I was mother effing played. So, boom. Go out, get drinks. I had a good time, I'm not gonna lie. Have fun. Um, I really didn't have to spend much. I paid for like parking, which it just come with it. You're gonna pay for parking. Is this my turn? It was. It is. Yeah, so went, had a really good time. Pay for the parking. Like I say, you're in Atlanta. You're gonna have to pay for parking if you don't want your car to get busted, uh, your windows to get busted into. So, pay for the parking. But when we got in, we didn't have to pay for anything. Um, everything was good. Everything was paid for. We were set up. We were set straight. Y'all, we get in there. And so there's this guy that's like looking at me. He's flirting with me. Um, I'm not studying. Like, I seen him. And I was thinking like, okay, he's not like hideous. But y'all know, I don't even be out here looking for no dude or nothing like that. Because it's like, do I really want to get myself into that again? And... You know, I'm, I'm single right now, so I'm just kind of living in that moment. But um, the guy's looking at me. I see him looking at me because, you know, you can feel somebody staring at you. But I let it go, whatever, keep dancing, minding my business, turning up with my friend. And 
the guy kind of already knew my friend so he calls her over um uh, like you know i'm not gonna say no names and stuff but you know he where where am i guys looking at me so he tells my friend like yo i really like your sister like your your girl who you got with you she's super cute um um yeah like i want to talk to her what's her name so my friend she's like wait a minute wait a minute nah because last time i checked you had a girlfriend and y'all was like getting into it all the time and you still with her and i heard y'all was married like she was cracking him down so before he got to me he was gonna get to my friend that's how she is she don't play by that play by her friends so he's like no sis it ain't like that i really like her i don't i'm not with this girl no more um y'all let me um should i go to the texaco or the shells i'm gonna go to the shells hello i'm gonna um who's calling me i'm gonna tell y'all the story in a second hey y'all what's up happy saturday it's saturday happy saturday i am actually in the car i'm about to get out of the car and go to the nail salon y'all y'all know my nails been looking well this hand is cute but this one looks a freaking mess and it's been looking like this for a week so i'm about to go and get these taken off and then um get them redone because yeah i got plans tonight and i don't anyway i just don't like my nails looking like this and I know people be looking at me, looking at my nails, and I just, I can't live like that. So, I'm about to go in and get them done. Um, also, after I go get my nails done, I'm going to go to my dad's house to see my dog. Yeah, also, um, my dad bought my little brother a dog for Christmas. So, I'm excited to see him because he's a little tiny puppy. And y'all know I love dogs, so... And I want to see how him and Cody interact with each other. So I'm excited to see that. But yeah, it is 12.52. Hopefully I'm done and out of here like around 2 o'clock. Because I ain't trying to be in here all day. But I know it's probably going to take her more than an hour since she has to take these off too. I could have taken these off by myself, but I don't feel like it. So it's whatever. I got a really, really cute design that I found on Instagram that I want her to do. So we're going to see how it turns out. But yeah. So I'm about to go in here and I will see you guys when I'm done. Bye. Alright y'all. So I am back in the game. I literally just left the nail salon. And I got my nails like this. Can y'all see them? Hold on. I don't know if you can see them. But they're like a really cute ombre. And they have pink in it. And white. Y'all know pink and white is my favorite so i absolutely love my nails um right now i'm about to head back to the house deja is actually off today too so she just texted me um and she said she went and got her nails done today and so right now she's about to head over to um to the house and i don't know what we're doing today i know tonight around nine o'clock i'm going out i don't know if she's gonna be coming with me but i know for a fact that we're probably about to do something now because the weather is so freaking nice it looks so good outside and i don't know like i don't want to just stay in the house if not i'm probably gonna end up going like to the mall or something i was gonna go see my dad today but i'm actually off tomorrow too Okay. Yeah, so I'm actually off of work tomorrow too. So I'll probably end up just going to go see him tomorrow because today I'm gonna have it's already four o'clock and I don't know. I feel like Deja got something she wanna do. She got some plans. So I said I'll spend the day with my girl today and then I'll go and spend the day with my dad tomorrow. I'm starting to see my, the type of car that I have so much more now than I ever did before. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. Today's going to be a super chill day. Um, it's Saturday. I, I know at night, like, people are going to be doing stuff. But... Now, first of all, why do I keep getting texts from, like, Ted Cruz, Tim Scott? Um... I don't know, it's like stuff from the government or something. It's annoying. I don't like that. I wish they'll stop freaking texting my phone. 
Oh, the only thing about my nail is that there's like a little hair in it. And she said she gonna, I'm coming back tomorrow to get some butterflies added to it. Cause I really, really love the, um, she did them before and she had like butterflies on them. So I think I want to go, I'm definitely going back to get the butterflies added on to there. Cause it'll just give it like that extra little touch, but she didn't have none today. When I went to the nail salon, she um, does nails at her house too. So a lot of the stuff that she used on her Instagram is at her house. I should have told her that this is what I wanted and to bring the butterflies, but I didn't. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow at like around 12 to get the butterflies added. So I'm gonna show y'all how they look with the butterflies, but they're really, really cute right now. Let me call my boo real quick. Let me call my boo real quick. I'm gonna cut turn y'all off while I talk on the phone. Hey y'all, good morning. Um, First of all, <clears throat> Why does my voice sound like, why do I sound like that? I need some water, hold on. Okay, hey y'all, good morning. Happy, what day is it? Happy Thursday. It's currently Thursday and it's like 10, it's 10, 18 right now. Um, I just woke up. Well, I've probably been up for about an hour, but my voice is like weird right now. And I think it's because I did just wake up and I haven't really talked at all today. So, you know, how your voice got to like get used to you talking. I think that's what's going on. But, whoo, yeah, y'all, let me take this bonnet off so I don't look crazy all day. All right, y'all, so I still got my hair and my little braids. Um, I still love them, still get compliments on them. But I'm almost getting tired of them now. At least I'm just over the style. I'm about ready to take them out. I'm not going to take them out yet. Only because I've only had them here for like three weeks. And I told myself I was going to stop wasting money. Just like changing my hair up so much. But I was looking at some YouTube videos. And I'm honestly kind of thinking about getting a frontal. I don't know. The last time I had a frontal was probably like two years ago and um i don't know i don't i remember it being super cute but i don't remember having it for that long but i think i want to get a frontal i was looking at this girl's youtube and she did a review i'm gonna show y'all just in case you want to try it out too but she did a review on a frontal and it looks so good and it wasn't that expensive. So I think I'm going to purchase it now while it's still cheap. Cause y'all frontals have gotten so expensive. Like the frontal wigs. Let me take my glasses out for the glare, but I can't see y'all cause I don't have my contacts on. But yeah, so the frontal wigs have gotten so expensive. They used to be like between a hundred, like maybe 170 to like 200 now. I mean, like a freaking 12 inch is starting at 230. Like, who's gonna wear a 12 inch unless you want a bob or something? But so, yeah, I'm like, I think I want to get one. And the girl that reviewed the hair, she actually did a tutorial and it looks so stinking good when she put it on her head. She slayed it. I probably wouldn't do it myself just because I want it to look like professional and I don't want to mess up the lace. So, I probably the first time go get it done so that they can like cut it and do my baby hairs. And then when it starts getting old, I'll just like keep reapplying it myself. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I know frontals are super expensive. And it's even expensive to get it put on. But I found a girl that was for like $100. So, in total, I might end up spending like two something to get my frontal put on. And I really don't think that's that bad. Because I spend that anyway on like braids. So, and if I do get it, I would get a frontal wig. So that it'll last me, you know, for a long time versus a frontal sew-in when it's just the frontal and then like a bunch of tracks. I would get the wig so I can put it on and take it off whenever I want. So, but let me show you how the girl Instagram. So, y'all probably already watch her because um, she has like over 100K. But her name is Paris Danielle. And she did a story time. So she did a story time and she did like a watch me slay my hair. Hold on. Is it focusing? Yeah, y'all. She is like slaying 
this lace. So if you want to check it out, you can too. The hair is by VV Baby Hair. I don't know much about them, but it looks good on her. And I think before, obviously, before I do spend the money on it, I'm going to um, look at other reviews just to see what people are saying. Because one person can have good, they can send them a good batch of hair because they have 100,000 subscribers. But then somebody who's not like Instagram famous or YouTube um, famous or whatever could have get a bad batch of hair and so since i'll be spending my own money on it i don't want them to send me a bad batch so i'm gonna go check it out first yeah i'm about to brush my teeth because i'm talking and my shit is like ugh, i could smell my own breath mm, that's not cute hold on y'all there's so much stuff that i'm trying to get in order um y'all know i just moved back to atlanta probably a few months ago now well november november december january so almost well three months ago now i moved back to atlanta so i'm like still trying to get everything together still trying to um you know, just like figure out life, figure out where I'm going to be living, figure out um, where I'm going to be working like full time. I've been working like crazy. I've been working really double time, which is why I'm like slacking on YouTube as far as posting vlogs and content videos because I'm always at work or I'm like super tired because I'm always at work. So I'm just trying to rest and relax and get my life together. Like today I go in at 2. Um, and it's already 10 o'clock. I'm going to try to edit this vlog before I go to work. And then I'll upload it before I go to work too. So that I can go ahead and get out. Because I haven't posted in like 6 days. And honestly that like bothers me. Because I feel like with YouTube you do have to be consistent. You do have to post at least 2-3 to three times a week. And going 6 days without posting is really unacceptable. And it's like if you want this to be your full time job. And if you love doing it. Then you have to show that you love doing it. So I got to get back into the groove of things when it comes to this. But I promise that I'm going to try. And I'm going to stop allowing my vlogs to be all over the place. I think the last time I recorded for you guys. It was like almost a week ago. So I don't even remember really what it's about but i'll see when i edit it hopefully it can be uploaded and it's not just too choppy but we'll see if you see this then i posted it <laughs> but um yeah y'all so that's pretty much it that's new in life right now for this month really the month of january and the month of february i'm just going to be going hard working saving my money up because I'm trying to have some big things coming up in March and the only way um the only way I can do that is if I'm making money and I'm saving my money. So January, February, allow me to get it together. I promise by March I'm gonna be back on it, but I'm still gonna be posting. I'm just probably not gonna be doing as much and I'm probably just gonna be all over the freaking place because that is how my life has been. Yeah, but what else is new? Oh, I've been watching Netflix. I have been watching The Bridgerton. I know a lot of people have been talking about it. Y'all, it's like I like it, but it's been the hardest show to get into. I think I just, I always fall asleep or I don't freaking know. I'm like trying to figure, figure it out. My grandmother watched it. I actually told her to watch it. Because we always tell each other different stuff to watch on Netflix. So I told her to watch it because somebody else told me to watch it. And she ended up watching all of the episodes. So now she's like, how you told me to watch it and you didn't watch it? My like, girl, calm down. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. So I've been trying to watch it. I think I'm on episode two now. Or it might be on still episode one. I don't know. But if y'all haven't watched it or haven't heard about it, go and watch The Bridgerton. I heard it's really, really good. I haven't watched it. But I heard it's good. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here. Just because I do want to go ahead and get it edited and post it. Also, I'm not going to be doing anything else to, um, today other than going to work at 2. And it's already 10.30, so I'm probably just going to spend the rest of the morning um, 
editing, watching the Bridgerton, and probably eat some breakfast or something before it's 2 o'clock. Y'all, 2 o'clock sneak up on you so fast, especially when you have to go to work or you have something to do for the day. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll let y'all know if I do order the wig, because if I do order it, I'm not going to get my hair done no time soon, but I'm going to go ahead and order it, and I'll probably... Um, do a review on it if I really like it because y'all know I like to let y'all know about the different hairstyles and weaves that I like to get so We shall see but yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next vlog I promise that will be much much better and longer But just bear with me, but I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Bye